Hello everyone, Tammy here. Welcome to my channel and welcome to Roxy's weekly challenge. Oof, week 27? Not sure. I forgot to look. Um, so I am a, a hashtag Christmas in July. So there's a lot to Roxy's weekly challenge and so I want to get to everything but I want to show you what I'm using first. Um, so I have this paper. I got it last year. It's Cartabella Paper Company and it's just Christmas. And so I'm using um, some of this paper for tags. I have this uh, sticker page from the same packet, um, uh, Element Stickers, Cartabella Paper Company. So I might use some of those. I have um, fabric. I have Posca paint pens. I have two shades of green, um, red, gold, uh, different um, nib sizes. Um, so that's that. And that's the first thing we'll do because I do want that to dry before I move on. But then we're going to make some tags. And that's that where I use that paper. And she's doing their floating pockets again. Um, like last week, only they have some um, like paint paint pen elements to it. So she used some big book pages and since I was doing Christmas, I have this book that I got at the uh, thrift store, just a couple bucks, but it has really cool images um, and colors. And so since I'm, I'm doing these in a Christmas theme, kind of, you know, loosely, well, not loosely, I am. Um, yeah, so I, I tore a couple of uh, book pages out of there. So I have um, this angel and I already have pieces um, picked out to go together um, just because of um, you know my uploading issues. So and then I have this image and so this is what I'm going to use. So Okay, first things first, I'm going to do these. And I'm going to do it on um, this because I don't want to get paint on my um, mat, even though it has paint on it. I know, it's crazy. Okay, so I'm just going to start making some marks. Um, and, oops, probably see if my pins work before I I didn't do that okay there we go okay so I'm just gonna do some dots okay I like how that looks. So I'm going to do three lines. Okay. Then I'm going to bring in the gold. Okay. So this is kind of cool because I can do smaller okay that's pretty I like that then I'm gonna see this is <laughs> yeah that's why I wanted to do that and let's see let's do some green actually oh, yeah so I'm gonna do like some little hash marks this and just gold and red again I think 
this one might be running out of ink. Okay, I'm going to try this one. Okay, so this would go here. Yeah, that's pretty. I'm going to try the lighter green just to give it some little different, little different look. Oh yeah, I like that. That's pretty. It's pretty green. Okay, so let's do the gold. So then I'm going to make some like little squares. kind of fun and then I have this um, let this dry right here and then I have this burlap one and that I'm just gonna do some if I can not sure if this is even gonna work but I was curious about just doing some scribbles using all the colors just something different there's red. Here's some gold. Just doing some messy. So, um, for those of you watching that maybe don't have paint pens or um, are tempted to buy um, other brands of paint pens, um, Posca is by far my favorite. I've tried, I've tried like every, every brand you can think of. And, um, the Posca is definitely the best, um, the best value for sure. Um, I have used Molotow, M Molotow, Molotow, um, and they're okay, but they, I feel like they stop working like maybe halfway through and then it's really hard to um, I, I feel like I throw half the marker away these do leak a little bit when you are at the end um, but I feel like they last I've had these for a really long time I used to use them quite frequently okay so I'm gonna let those dry and then we are going to make our pockets. So, so and I'm only doing two. Um, I, I normally like to do more, but um, just because of the time constraints for uh, uploading, uh, I'm, I'm just, whoops, that's really, really, really crooked. Um, I wonder if the thing's crooked. You know 
uh, I'm gonna trim this down and I'm gonna follow the line on here so it doesn't look crooked. So, yeah, that's okay. Okay. So there's that. Okay, so then this is gonna fold up. I think I want this much to be the pocket. Okay, so there's that one, and then this one. Did I already ask you if you're having a good day? <laughs> Can't remember. Um, trying to get a couple videos um, filmed and ready to upload. Okay. So let's do that. That. Okay, so they're a little bit different sizes. But then, I um, can't remember which one I had doing which. So I had this. I think I like that. So that was going to be the back. Okay. I'm remembering now, I think. So I haven't worked on my flip-flop journal at all since the last um, video that I did. So I definitely need to get on that. So that, yeah, okay, that's nice. Yeah, I might, um, I might end up doing some of that off camera, um, just because I know a lot of it's going to take me a while. this. I'm going to put this on the back. Like that. Yeah, that's cool. Okay. And again, I just use, I didn't, well, aside from the, um, what's that paper pack called? The um, Cartabella papers. Um, aside from that, I didn't, I didn't pull out anything new, though so that was the only, uh, papers that I pulled out. I'm still trying to use up what I already pulled out before. Um, my dog just completely snuck in here. I didn't have my door completely closed <laughs> and he just pushed it open. Um, we have, um, we have people here, uh, putting in a, a new fence and um, they're using a um, they're using a uh, gosh darn it what is it called a um, air compressor for their um, nail guns and um, my dog my male Tucker um, who you saw in one of my videos one of my shorts earlier this week he's terrified of the air compressor so he's he's on some GABA and he's still terrified so um, he likes to 
he likes to be by his mama. So he, I didn't close the door all the way because I had a feeling he might, he was in here and then he wanted to go out and I was like, he's going to want to come back in here. And I was right. And now he's right under my feet where he feels safe. Because you know that, those air compressors, they're really big, nasty monsters. He's terrified. Even when my husband uses his, he's just, he hates it so much. Oh, come on. The sap since uh, yesterday without the pins, I forgot to put the pin in it. So now it's all goopy and gross. out now see it's this stuff that I would um, I would normally edit out of a video because no one needs to see me struggling with my glue frustrating really frustrating that that's happening not the glue the upload thing Okay, so this one is uh, ready to go. I really like it. Looks good. I could maybe put something back here. I have um, I have just a little few little pieces here. Nothing major. But I could, if I wanted to cover that up, I could do that. And then I could what else do we have here? Too bright white. Hmm. Dude, that's kind of cute. I'm going to do it. Not overthinking it. So I feel like the like you could you could totally journal on this uh, 100% oh, I think I like this side better doesn't have all the white around it Okay, so that's a pocket, and that is ready to go. So now this one, let's see. Okay, so I have this that I thought would go good here. And tear this off.
This might be cute. Yeah, I kind of like that. Oh, put that there. Very nice. Okay, so then the back side, I was going to put this. Yep. Fold this over. I really love doing this uh, Christmas in July. It's, uh, I know I talked about this before, but I haven't made too many um, tags. I actually, this pocket is very crooked. When I was wrapping my husband's uh, birthday presents, I um, I noticed that we have a lot of, my husband bought some labels because he thought, he thought we were out and so last year he bought some and so we have kind of a lot of labels or tags, I mean. Well, that's crooked. Hmm. I'm going to trim this. Okay. So, yeah, that doesn't take anything away from this side. This is crooked here. Okay. Then I definitely want to put something down here. Not sure what. Oh, I have some of this music. Okay, so let's glue this. Okay. 
Okay, so here's the pockets. Very cute. Okay, so the tags should be much easier. And where are they? Oh, here they are. So these are just papers straight from the um, from that paper pack. So I'm just gonna put these uh, journal spots on there. There's that, and then I'm not sure I even want to put anything on here. No, I kind of like it just the way it is. So, I'm going to um, make it into a tag shape. So let's do this one. I think it goes that way. Not sure. Okay, so then we have our handy dandy little pieces to um, put on. Ooh, I like that one. As little um, pulls. Okay, no, it's not gonna just tear off. Like I wanted it to. I don't think this will tear. Yeah, it's not going to tear. Yeah, I want something like that. That is what I want. Okay, that's pretty. Okay, so let's get this glue here.
Okay, so there's one and one more. Hmm. Let's tear it up here. Not sure I love that. Yeah, I'll go with that. I'm just gonna do it like that so it's so I don't glue it on the back. I want it hanging up like that. So let's see about putting something. Right there. It's kind of fun. this here okay so so this would go in there again you just can attach this to a page in your journal with a um, I don't know which one looks better and which. Yeah, that one looks nice. Looks, I think I might like the contrast. Definitely. The contrast between the red and the tag looks better to me than there was no contrast here. But this will have a contrast. Yep, much better. Okay, so there we go. There's my Roxy's Weekly Challenge week something that will <laughs> it'll be in the title or in the description and yeah i'm very happy with those how they turned out um very very pretty um yeah still feel like maybe i could put some something something no i'm gonna leave it or, well, that's kind of cute. That's cute. I'm going to put that there. I actually have a little piece. Where'd it go? I got a little scrap of book page that I really liked. It was little. It'd be perfect for this. Here it is. Yeah. So that could go there. I hate to get rid of these um, book pages because they're so. I just like the look of them. So there we go. Cute. Okay. Okay, thanks for watching everyone, and uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and if you feel so inclined, please hit the subscribe button uh, so you can see what I'm up to, and um, have a great rest of your day, and remember to be good to yourself. Bye.